I'm gonna do something today that I normally don't do. I'm gonna go off on a little rant about customer service. Stay right there. You're gonna to wanna to see this. You guys may have seen that I've done a lot of videos about JVC cameras. Well, not a lot, but I've done quite a few videos about JVC cameras. I used to own the JVC 170U, which was a camera that I did like, but I had to sell it. And there's a video about why I sold it for the people that like that camera. And also the JVC LS300, which is their cinema camera, which I still own and I have used quite extensively. <clears throat> By the way, a great camera. I'm not complaining about the camera. It's a really good camera. It just has a small problem. Now you see the little, the, the flip out screen. You see how it's like loose. See how it wobbles like that? And just that little, that little play that's right there. It makes me wonder, is this going to get worse? Is this screen going to like one day just like not work? <laughs> or just like be hanging off while I'm going to have to like put tape on it to keep it shut? You know, I don't really know. Probably not. Like I said, it seems like a very minor issue, but that's it. Just that little problem. I contacted JVC about this problem months ago. And uh, I actually got someone on the phone months ago and I spoke to the person and he told me, you know, what you're describing should be covered. He didn't say it will be covered. He said it should be covered. He says, you got to ship it to us and we'll take a look at it and we'll send it back to you within two weeks fixed. I said, and I was like, you guarantee you're going to fix this. And he said, well, it, it should be covered. I don't like that. I don't like it should be. Not that it will be covered. It, it will definitely be covered, but yeah, it, it should be covered. Well, I live in New York, JVC's in California. For me to ship this camera all the way to California and get insurance on it and everything else is going to cost me a lot of money. So to send it over there and not have it fixed, that's not an option because one, now I'm without my camera. And then two, I'm wasting money on shipping. And then three, according to their, their warranty information that's on their website, if they determine that your camera your camera's problem is not under warranty, they're gonna charge you $50 just for looking at it. So I'm gonna pay all that shipping and extra $50 just to get my camera back if I don't wanna fix it. You know, if they say it's not under warranty, it's gonna cost $200. Well, it's gonna cost $200 to fix that little wobbly screen. I don't wanna fix it, right? And I'm just, that's just hypothetically speaking. I don't know it's gonna cost $200. Matter of fact, it may be perfectly free, just like the guy said, but I really don't know. So anyway, I decided to call the guy back um, just two weeks ago, and I can't get anyone on the phone. Every time I call JVC, they send me to the professional division. No one answers the phone. I leave a voicemail, and no one calls me back. It's been two weeks. To me, that's bad customer service. Someone should have answered my call within a day. You know, this is an expensive camera. This is not a cheap camera. So I, I expect better service from any manufacturer when you're spending that type of money. And matter of fact, even if this camera was $30, it's still my money, and I still think you should provide good customer service. It really doesn't matter. You know, that's your business. You're making these cameras for a customer. You should support your customers because basically they're supporting you. I'm supporting you. I bought your camera. Not only did I buy your camera, I've made some pretty nice videos for JVC. Um, it ain't like they pay me for this. I'm just talking nice about them because I think their cameras are pretty good. But Jesus, I'm not sure that I really like your customer service. So. I don't know. In the future, I was hoping they were going to upgrade this camera to something that had image stabilization built in and better low light performance. Because to me, if they did those two things, this camera would like outperform most of the cinema cameras out there. It is a very, very good camera for the price. But customer service, man, is very, very important. So I'm going to give JVC another try. I'm going I'm to keep calling. I'm going to see if I get the guy on the phone again, because it, it always seems that there's just one person that works in the professional division because I always get the same guy. So I'm going to call again. Hopefully I get him on the phone. Hopefully I get an answer to see whether it's worth even fixing this problem or should I just keep it? I don't know. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. Like I said, it's not a big problem. It's just I'm worried that it may become a big problem. So maybe I should address it now in the off season than waiting for the whole damn LCD screen to just fall off on the floor and then I got to wrap it around with tape or something. I don't want to roll like that onto, you know, 
some professional shoot and have tape and stuff holding my camera together. It just doesn't look good, you know? It's a good looking camera. I want to keep it good looking. So leave a comment if you have the same problem with the LCD screen. Just tell me what you do, what you did about it, if you did anything, or you just leave it like that. Anyway, that's my rant. There it is. I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.